Why is the US Navy building these huge aluminum ships, especially the cool-looking Independence-class littoral combat ships? Well, it's a big shift from the usual steel warships. They aren't trying to replace the big destroyers, but it's a smart choice for certain missions. Aluminum is way lighter, about a third the weight of steel. This huge weight drop means these ships can go super fast and operate easily in shallow coastal areas, which is exactly where they need to be for their specialized jobs. The main reason they went with aluminum is definitely for speed and saving fuel. Since the ship weighs a lot less than a steel version, the LCS can really sprint, hitting over 40 knots. That kind of speed is rare for a warship, and it's essential for the LCS mission profile. It helps them rush mission packages around, chase down quick enemy boats, or just get out of trouble fast in tricky waters. Plus, lighter weight means they need smaller, more efficient engines. That equals less fuel burned and way cheaper running costs over the ship's lifetime. Another neat perk? Maintenance is easier, and they get a lot of flexibility. Marine-grade aluminum, like the 5000 series alloys, doesn't rust the way steel does. It actually grows a little protective oxide skin, so they don't have to paint and maintain all those internal tanks and spaces constantly. That saves a ton of work. The light structure also gives designers a bigger sandbox to play in, letting them easily swap out those plug-and-play mission modules, like equipment for hunting mines or submarines, without making the ship top-heavy. But it's not all smooth sailing. The big problem with aluminum is its fire risk. Steel can handle a lot more heat, but aluminum starts losing its strength and melting at lower temperatures. We saw the serious danger of this back in 1975, when the USS Belknap cruiser caught fire, and its aluminum superstructure basically melted away. The Navy has awesome fire control systems now, but the fundamental vulnerability is still there. Basically, building these ships means they're designed around the philosophy of don't get hit, relying on superior speed and stealth to avoid trouble instead of tanking a blow. So, to wrap it up, the US Navy is using aluminum in ships like the LCS because they absolutely need that high speed and mission flexibility for operating near the coast. 